Is it in that part yeah, of the airport? Yeah, I think it's in the concourse. Okay, so I, I guess if you have a long wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you've got you know some downtime, yeah, an hour or two, I wouldn't <laughs> that's mind the answer. Catching a flick, yeah. <laughs> All right, well you wouldn't want to be stuck inside an airport today because beautiful outside right now. It is beautiful and extra beautiful up to the mountains because we've got some new snow up there. Take a look at these views out to Meadows. Over the weekend, the last 48 hours, closer to a foot of new snow. The last 24 hours, we've seen uh, some of that snow tapering off, so only about three inches, but a base depth of 10 inches. We are now over the mountain dustings and now getting some uh, significant rounds of snow across the mountains and building up the base. So great to see that with a hopeful start near Thanksgiving weekend to ski season. This is Timberline um, up on Palmer Snowfield. This is the look up at uh, the Silcox hut up there. You can see how windy it gets up there too. Uh, but a beautiful shot in the sunshine. Nine hours in the, or excuse me, light nine inches of snow in the last 24 hours. A base also at about 10 inches there. Uh, out to Timberline. So here's our snow levels forecast. A bit of a, a jump as we head our way into tonight, but by tomorrow, our next weather system uh, jumps on in here, and uh, we're expecting to see our snow levels dropping again through Tuesday afternoon and evening into Wednesday. So we will see a new round of snow here through the middle of the week before we see our uh, snow level skyrocket uh, through the warm sector of another late week storm. But take a look at snow fall future cast totals here as we head our way into Tuesday and Wednesday. Another round of some good snowfall uh, for the tops of Mount Hood and even the slopes likely picking up maybe 6 to 12 inches of snow above 5,000, 6,000 feet. So great to see another round of snow up there as we head into our November. There's our view of downtown Portland. You can see those high clouds uh, in the distance there, but still some sunshine now across the city. So beautiful move into our afternoon right now. Mid 50s are highs again topping off right about there. Uh, we'll see sunshine through the afternoon with increasing clouds as we head our way into tonight. Uh, but as we work our way through the afternoon, we'll start to see some gustier winds in Portland. Already seeing that east wind at about 13 miles per hour here in Portland. So our wind gust forecast showing us uh, those east breezes coming in from the gorge here. So areas in East Portland, even up to Vancouver, may get that strong push of east winds. Uh, maybe some gusts today around 25, 30 miles per hour. Then as we head our way into Tuesday night and our next weather system approaches. We'll see some gusty winds rolling in across the Portland metro area and down to areas of Salem, Kaiser, Woodburn and then up to areas of South Portland. We'll likely get some gusts maybe up to 35 miles per hour and in Portland we could see some wind gusts maybe up to 30 tomorrow. So we'll stay windy as we head into our day tomorrow within our next weather system, a high wind watch for the central coast, a high wind warning for the southern central parts of the Oregon coast. Overnight through the early parts of Tuesday, we could see some wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. So this next cold front packing another punch here to our region as it rolls in. Again, we say dry through today. We're still not seeing that system entering until we hit the overnight hours. By about 10, maybe through midnight, we could start to see some light showers spreading in Portland. This model keeps us pretty dry here, but there's that edge of our next weather system and that warm front scooting up first here, and uh, that's going to bring in some showers overnight. The cold front swings through early tomorrow morning, so a heavy band of rain likely. Uh, you can see showers to start out our Tuesday morning, so likely a rainy commute into work tomorrow. Uh, that front starts to roll out the door here by late morning, so we're back to more of those spottier showers uh, through Tuesday afternoon. Then we hit to our Wednesday, and we get a bit of a break here from the rain, maybe some lingering showers, but I do see some drier moments on Wednesday. Then that next soggy system rolls in by Thursday. We're looking at some heavy rainfall back in the region. Just check out these forecast rain totals from tomorrow when the rain arrives through Friday. We could see maybe 80% of our normal amount of rain in November just in the next four days, close to four inches. Average rainfall in November is about five and a half inches. So uh, we're expecting quite the rainy week. A lot of that rain rolling in Thursday and Friday within that weather system later in the week. But check out portions of the coast. We could see maybe seven, eight inches of some rainfall. So this will be a soggy system that rolls in. We could possibly uh, track some landslides and some issues around the Portland metro area with all of this rain coming. Uh, so we'll watch that very closely. Quick look at our seven day forecast here again. Dry for today. Showers working in maybe around midnight or so, but overnight 
into Tuesday, we'll see that uh, rain picking back up. Showers through Wednesday, then we're seeing some very rainy conditions setting up Thursday and beyond. Jenny? I feel like everyone who did rain dances this summer, like danced it a worked. little too hard, Kelly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a funny <laughs> visual. <laughs> well, yeah, right. They were dancing like no one's watching. Yeah, exactly. Yes. To, to get this, so <laughs> we got it. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more news. Stick around.